Okay, so we're working on this flywheel here for the 20G. I just pulled all the magnets out that were left, and this thing is filthy. I mean, it is totally full of dirt and junk, and I mean, look at how much dirt is packed in there. Unbelievable. I've had this flywheel off for, and I forget, two weeks, but look how rusty it got, and they're just flash rusting, so that ain't cool. But uh, anyways, I'm going to clean this all out good before we do anything with our JV weld and stuff. So let me get this cleaned out, and then we'll come back to you. Hey guys, if you ever have magnets come off a flywheel like I did, you know, like maybe if the dumb previous owner of this had done some preventative maintenance and didn't have enough dirt in this thing to grow a tomato plant, maybe the magnets wouldn't have fallen off. So, you know, just more, more to be said about taking your flywheel off every couple of years and cleaning your stator out and everything. Look at all that. <laughs> Ridiculous, huh? I can't believe it. All right, before I go any farther with this flywheel, I'm taking the plastic uh, cooling fins off here because I don't want to damage them or break them because I need to basically have the flywheel upside down to do the next step here. And what I did is I took a some sandpaper and I sanded the whole area where the magnets are gonna go and I got it nice and clean. I'm actually gonna take this uh, acetone here and clean them. And I'm also gonna clean the individual magnets as well to make sure any contaminants that might be on there that would interfere with my JB welding won't be an issue. So let's do that next. All right, so I bought some magnets on eBay here. Let's open this up and see what we got. So far, just some paper. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Now, let's see what we got in this beautiful package. All right, we got six magnets. What do you know? And they're all in nice shape. So, um, you know, the magnets that I had, only one of them was trash. So my plan here is just to take one of these magnets and use it and not have to use all six of them. And we'll have some, some spares in case this ever happens again with any other machine. So... It was well worth me buying all six. I'm going to just hold this up to the other magnets and make sure that they actually match. All right, so this is the new magnet, and it is an exact match on the old magnets. So that's good news. And I've cleaned all these up with acetone and everything like that. Now i got to go through and fix the polarity on everything and make sure they're all in the right orientation. I'm actually going to go watch the video for Terrell Fixes All. I'll put a link in the description here. But he has a video of putting magnets on a Kohler flywheel. That's where I'm learning how to do this from. There is a certain trick to the polarity to the north-south poles that are on there and spacing them and clamping them up and everything. So we're going to make sure we do it right. Now, if you watch Terrell's video, he explains how you take a little magnet like this and you see how, you know, you know, there's two poles. One side of the magnet will attract and see how this one's trying to push it away. Uh, you got to do it on the end over here. See, if I get this close up to the end, it will actually push it. You see that? See it move? Whoa. So, so this one's not attracting. And there's a white line on there. And I just happened to notice that there's three that kind of had white lines on them. And my gut feeling is that those three with the white lines, let me just see. No, that's attracting. So we'll make an attraction pile. Let's see about this one. That's attracting. We'll put that over here. Um, there should be three that attract and three that repel. So we just got to sort them. Let's see, that repels, put that over here. And let's see, this one, whoa, <laughs> attracts. We'll put that over here. And let's see, 
That one, whoa, that one was really strong push. You see that? Watch. Yeah, so we got three and three. Now, I apparently just got lucky taking the magnet out of the new box because I didn't know what was what, and I just pulled a random magnet out, and it appeared to be the correct polarity. So I'm going to double check everything with this, and then we'll go from there. And I'm going to actually draw a line on these with this uh, big fat Sharpie here and mark them black, three of them, and the other three won't have Sharpie, and that's how I'll know the difference. So I think I'm going to cry. I put a magnet down about here and it just sucked into that one and it broke them both in half. I cannot believe it. OMG, that is so not cool. Oh, two down. All right, so these ones, I marked the top with the black Sharpie. If you watch Terrell's video, he says to get clothes pins, take them apart. Use that as the spacers. I didn't have any clothes pins, so I scored these on Amazon. It was a couple bucks. So let me dry fit it all here, alternating the polarities on the magnets, and we'll see what we got. All right, so I dry fitted everything, and I swear that they must they must have invented these magnets uh, so that these clothes pins fit in there perfectly because they make an exact perfect ring. So now um, I got some binder clips like he has in his video to clamp them down, but I'm ready to glue them in there. So um, it's Thursday night right now, about 9.30, and I'm hoping that this stuff takes 24 hours to dry. All right, so I mocked up the binder clip and it's gonna work good. I have these at my office, so I grab these. They're just called large binder clips. So, you know, I'm gonna glue up the flywheel put them back in the container and bring them back to work so they won't get wasted and I'll clean them up so that we don't get flywheel crap on some person's file that we clip with these things but yeah so that's pretty good huh not bad all right so I scored me some JB weld here this is just the original formula um, they have a quick dry one that goes in six hours but um, this one actually has a higher strength if you look at the PSI and I'm in no rush. Like I said, I can wait a couple days. I'm in no rush, so I'd rather go with the higher strength if I can. So I just cut off a little piece of cardboard here, and I'll put two smears of that crap on there and mix it up. And we'll, I'm actually going to take one of the clothespins and use that to mix it up and to apply the JB Weld to the back of the magnets. All right, so I got my JB Weld up here. And uh, I got my two little things of it, and we're just gonna take this thing and mix it all together. And it should turn gray when you have the right, you know, consistency of 50-50 of the black and the white. I don't know if this is enough, but we can always mix more. That's not a big deal. I just don't wanna waste it. I have another project here with some clutches that we're gonna need JV Weld on too, so. I, I just bought this brand new to make sure we have enough. So, let's see here. And it's not expensive. It was like, I got it at Home Depot. It was like $5.94 or something. So not really a big deal. Okay, so I think we're looking pretty good. So I'm gonna just scoop some on here. And uh, I'm gonna take one of these magnets here and uh, basically come to the back and Smear it on, just like you're putting uh, butter on a piece of toast or something, you know? And that should be it. So I'll put a good amount on there. I, I don't want it to fall off. And uh, just do it here, just like back butter in a tile, if you ever did tile, I guess you'd say, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I, almost, I used half of what I just mixed doing just this one magnet, so... I guess it is going to use a lot. It's okay. So we got one, and I'm just going to put it in the flywheel. Okay. Now I'm grabbing one from the other pile that's not marked right now, and we'll back butter that sucker. 
I'll do the same thing here. Mm -hmm. You get the idea? Yeah, that's about all my, all my whole batch is gone, so I'll have to mix some more up. Okay, so that sucker's back buttered. I'm just going to try to wipe off the top and the bottom here to try to keep it as clean as I can. I definitely am trying to make sure that I don't get it on the front surface where it's going to inter, interplay with the stator, you know. Be real careful about that. Drop this sucker in. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the camera and finish it, and I'll show right, you when. So we're we got this sucker all glued up, and uh, you know we'll let it sit until Saturday, and then we'll play with it and finish up this project. So that really wasn't too bad. It took took me about an hour to do it. And that's with filming, so it would have been a lot faster just doing it. Well, this glue job on the magnets here worked out really good. I'm going to take off all these clips and see if we can get these clothespins out. And I think we should be in really good shape to get this thing back together. Well, it ended up working out really nice. I'm very happy with the final results here, so... Can't wait to get it back on that engine and see if we can get some voltage coming out of this thing again. That would be amazing.